This is lesson 3.3, .3, Slopes of Lines. Your objectives are to find slopes of lines and to use slopes to find parallel and perpendicular lines. The slope M of a line containing two points with coordinates x1, y1 and x2, y2 is given by the formula M equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, where x1 is not equal to x2. Just remember, those twos and ones are not exponents or any number to do arithmetic with. That just means the first x and the second x and the first y and the second y. We'll substitute our numbers in and find the slope. Find the slope of each line. For line P, the point 1, 2 is your x1, y1. And the point negative 2, negative 2 is your x2, y2. So in the formula, y2 minus y1 will be negative 2 minus 2. x2 minus x1 will be negative 2 minus 1. And that's negative 4 over negative 3, which is 4 thirds. Leave your answer improper. Don't make it a decimal. Keep it as a fraction. If it reduces to an integer, then make it an integer, but never make it a mixed number. For line Q, 2, 0 will be x1, y1, and negative 3, 2 will be x2, y2. Now, can we change those and say that 2, 0 is really the second point, and negative 3, 2 is really the first point? Yes, you can. It doesn't matter which point you choose to be the first point and which to be the second point. Just set it up and then keep it that way as you work out the problem. y2 minus y1 is 2 minus 0. x2 minus x1 is negative 3 minus 2. That's 2 over negative 5, which is negative 2 fifths. Now when you're finding slope, remember that if the slope is positive, the line will be slanting upward left to right. If it's negative, it will go downward left to right. If it's a slope of 0, it's horizontal. An undefined slope is vertical. Undefined is when the denominator is zero. So it's a good way to check your answer. If your slope is negative, it should tip down, like line Q. Line P had a positive slope, and it slants upward. Number three, find the slope. Y2 is three minus y1 is negative 2 over x2 is negative 6 minus x1 is 1. Substitute the values right into the formula. 3 minus negative 2 is really 3 plus 2, which is 5. Negative 6 minus 1 is negative 7. And that's negative 5 sevenths. Find the slope of each line. Number seven, line AB. Well, when the line is drawn for you in a picture, it's sometimes fastest to use this version of the slope formula. M equals rise over run. Rise is the distance up or down, and run is the distance left or right. So pick two points on the line and calculate how much of a rise it was over how much of a run it was. For line AB, I can use points A and B. The rise from A to B is up 6. The run is over 2. So rise over run is 6 over 2. And that's a 3. Rise is vertical. If it's up, it's positive. If it's down, it's negative. Run is horizontal. If it's right, it's positive. If it's left, it's negative. And then make sure it's reduced. 
line EM, that's a vertical line, from E to M, that's a rise of 4. But you don't run any. You don't go left or right because you can't because it's vertical. So the run is 0. And 4 divided by 0, that's undefined. Remember, a vertical line has an undefined slope. When you divide by 0, it's undefined. Remember, when the 0 is under, it's undefined. Under, undefined. That's how you remember. Slopes are important when talking about parallel and perpendicular lines. Parallel lines have the same slope. And perpendicular lines have slopes that have a product of negative 1. Also remember that vertical and horizontal lines are perpendicular. 0 and an undefined slope, you can't take the product of that. But they're still perpendicular. In this example, they're determining whether line A, B, and C, D are parallel, perpendicular, or neither. So they took the slope of each line. The slope of line A, B is 3, and the slope of line C, D is half. Those are not equal, so they're not parallel. And 3 times half is 1.5, which is not negative 1, so they're not perpendicular. So this is neither. So what if you had a slope of two-thirds for your line? The slope of the parallel line would be the same, two-thirds. The slope of the perpendicular line would be the negative reciprocal, negative three-halves. Perpendicular slopes are the negative reciprocal. You flip the fraction and you change the sign. Two-thirds times negative three-halves is negative one. That's what you need for perpendicular slopes. So remember that perpendicular lines, to have a product of negative 1, they have to be negative reciprocals of each other. What if one line has a slope of negative 7? The parallel line also has a slope of negative 7. And then for perpendicular, take the opposite reciprocal. That would be a positive 1 7. Parallel lines have the same slope. Perpendicular lines need to have a product of negative 1 for their slope. Or you could say that their slopes are negative reciprocals. Determine whether line MN and line RS are parallel, perpendicular, or neither. Graph each line to verify your answer. Number 1. For line MN, y2 is 4 minus y1 is 3 over x2 is 2 minus x1 is 0. That's 1 half. For line RS, y2 is 4 minus y1 is 1 over x2 is 8 minus x1 is 2. That's 3 over 6, which is 1 half. These lines have the same slope, so they're parallel. If you graph them, plot the points, connect the dots, R and S, connect the dots, and you can see that those lines are definitely parallel. Parallel lines have the same slope. Number two, the slope of line MN y2 is 5 minus y1 is 3 over x2 is 0 minus negative 1 for x1. That's 2 over 1, which is 2. For line RS, y2 is negative 1 minus y1 is 1 over x2 is 6 minus x1 is 2. That's negative 2 over 4, 
which is negative one half. Those slopes are negative reciprocals of each other. And you can check, they have a product of negative one. Two times negative half is negative one. These are perpendicular lines. Now graph it. Point M and N for line MN and point R and S. And you can see that there is definitely a right angle there. Perpendicular lines have slopes with a product of negative 1. Their slopes are negative reciprocals. Flip the fraction and change the sign. Number 3. For line MN, find the slope. Y2 is 4 minus Y1 is 3 over X2 is 4 minus X1 is negative 1. That's 1 over 5. For line RS, the slope is Y2 is 2 minus Y1 is 1 over X2 is negative 2 minus X1 is 3. This is 1 over negative 5, which is negative 1 fifth. Those slopes are not equal, and 1 is positive and 1 is negative but we don't have a reciprocal there. If I check the product, one-fifth times negative one-fifth, that's negative one over twenty-fifth. This one is neither. They're not parallel and they're not perpendicular. To graph it, m is negative one-three, n is four-four, r is three-one, S is negative 2, 2. Draw the two lines. They intersect so they're not parallel. And there's definitely not a right angle there. So they're not perpendicular. This one is neither. Remember, if the slopes are the same, they're parallel. If the slopes are negative reciprocals, they're perpendicular. Otherwise, it's neither.